is an instrument to sit on the list of asset classes. All right, so you cannot, you cannot seek breakthrough financially without having some sort of knowledge about the market, right? So whether you do it manually, that's physically, or you do it electronically, the way we have embraced, right? We're, we're all still trading, and you need that level of knowledge to break through. So I'm going to give you eye openers, all right? So if you have notes, please take notes, because some of the things I'm going to drop for you will be nuggets that can, you know, change your financial stories, all right? So I'm not promising you um, quick money, all right? That's where we find ourselves. Yeah, I'm not promising you quick money so that you don't get it wrong. I'm not going to do any, anything out of the blue. All right? I'm, I'm going to teach you how to trade. What I'm going to teach you here is the same way the average businessman will go and get capital and start to trade their business. That's the same thing I'm going to teach you. The only difference is that you're not going to need an inventory. You don't need an office. You don't need a shop. You don't need to pay rentage. You're going to do it from your mobile device. That's all. It's the same thing. It's business I'm going to teach you. If you open a shop, you're not, you're not hoping to put some capital, fill up the place with goods, and double the money in one month, is it not? So if you have in your head designed something that looks like, okay, let me go and make money or learn how I can make money overnight, you are sitting in the wrong gathering. Okay, because what I'm going to teach you is pure business. It's a skill. It's a skill. And again, to be honest, this is the beginning of the journey. This is not everything you need. I can't do it in one day. I've been teaching some guys um, since the beginning, uh, and we're still not done. If you go to the university, you stay for four years. You come out with a degree. And I'll tell you what, that degree does not even guarantee financial freedom, is it not? So you can't come here and sit down in one setting and expect financial breakthrough. Are we together, guys? So that we are on the same page. So, but what, like I said, I'm not mixing words, and I owe you no apology about it. What I want to teach you, some of you already know, some of you might not know all of it, but they will serve as a bedrock for a shift in your paradigm. So just, just be expectant, all right? I'm going to share a couple of slides with you. Uh, but before, before I start, I think um, I overheard you guys from the back. Some of you were talking about how we were protecting um, your capital, okay, as traders. To begin with, um, the right thing to do, like I always say, is it's not, it's not good for you to outrightly give your money to someone and then just go home and lie down, right? Our investors, the way we treat them is when we get this information and the capital, we create a mini brokerage account for them. That is an account that sits under the primary account. We have about 16 traders right now that are professional traders that trade on the primary account. So your account is the secondary account. So when we take trades, we expose it to the market. Now, what we expose, when, once you invest, then we're going to shift the protection to 80%. For those of you on the growth plan, people are working with the bank, we shift it to 95%. So that you do not violate more than 20% or 5% of that capital. I don't know if that is very clear. Now, we, we are saying that if anything goes wrong in the market, there is an immune protection on the money that you are investing that is going to prevent any severe damage. And that's the reason why we, we, we splitted the plans and splitted the protection. If you have, if you have 100,000 and I risk 20% of 100,000, it's fair. But if you have 10 million Naira, and I risk 20% of 10 million naira, that's not fair. Because that is quite big. I mean, for different people, right? 20% of 10 million is 2 million naira. 
If we violate two million naira, that's a lot of money. If we violate twenty thousand, it's not the same. Are we together? So the bigger the capital, the 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 more stringent we are with how much we expose because the dollar value has increased. I mean, the amount in percentage has increased. That's why when we work with the banks, most of them have twenty-five million naira and above. These guys protect 95% of the capital because this is people's savings. So they don't allow you to play with it. So you do not use leverage. I'm going to teach you all of that. You don't use leverage and you don't expose more than 5% of that capital when trading. All right, so what um, you guys were trying to clear is this is the way it's designed because I mean, I don't want anybody to hold me and say, that, uh, and say you know, we, we don't, we, we have thrown it. <laughs> you lost all the money. And again, I, I want to say something very important. Your investments do not sit in any local bank. As a matter of fact, once you have a brokerage account, you are not part of, put it on silent now. You are not part of the economy of this country. Your money is sitting under a brokerage account that is not in Nigeria and is not regulated by anybody, CBN, SEC, or anybody. So the way we arrange this investment in layman's term is to make the investors act like individual retail traders. So we render the expertise, and then these people benefit from our expertise. And then usually at the end of the month, I'll tell you what, it's not every month we make as much as we promise to give you, right? There are some months, in COVID, I have a one-year stretched out uh, trading result. You can find that on my Instagram, okay? In COVID, we had a high return on investment, but we still gave out 15%. Do you understand where I'm coming from now? So there are months where we make a lot of money, but we, we get to keep the excesses. All right? But then there are months where the market is slow, right? And then you probably end up with maybe 11% or 12% or maybe that same 15%. And then what do you do? You have to disburse it. If it's not enough, you have to go back to the excesses you had and then augment it and disburse. I don't know if you understand where I'm coming from now. So that is the, that's just to clear the air so that you don't have anything in the back of your head that is saying okay or okay not. Is that okay? So is there any question regarding that? Because I want to teach you, what I want to teach you has nothing to do with investment. Investment is not my channel. I am uh, focused on getting you guys to understand how the market works and how to trade and make money. So, okay, so we can go ahead, no questions. The degree I have, right? So uh, TA is not my thing. I, I, I know TA a lot, right? But it's not my thing. Right, but risk management is good. If you are very good with TA, you're going to like me because I'm going to now help you to enhance your results. So overall, you start to make money. Okay, because that's the difference between we traders and gamblers. Gamblers don't manage risk. They just go all in every time. So but traders manage their risk. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you. All right, so um, don't be intimidated by the degree. The degrees are not important. It's just to learn what works. Okay, this serves as a disclaimer that everything I'm going to do for you here is for information and education purpose. It is not uh, supposed to be an advice for you to buy or sell anything in the financial market, all right, uh, so that you don't go back tomorrow and buy gold or buy silver, okay? So if you want to do that, you contact your financial expert, all right, they give you financial advice. Okay, these are some of the contacts that you might need. For those of you that uh, might not be with us till the end, okay, so you, would, you take the contact. And then before we even go far, let me make you understand the way the program is office or buy inventories. You just need to go to your Google Play Store and download your working material. So you have all those apps. If you have those apps, let me see them quickly before I move on. Means how much can you produce as a person, as an individual, by the end of the month? That's expectancy. It's measured in percentage. 
If you can produce five percent, as a matter of fact, you are you are you are a valuable asset to the economy. If you can generate five percent, if if you can generate ten percent, you are a, if you can generate one percent, you are a valuable asset to the economy. What do we do for the bank? We give them around five percent, two percent, three percent per month. Of course, because we are just trading with five percent of the money. So we don't get to make too much profit. But, yeah, of course. So, but now, yeah, that's what they do with your savings. You cannot, you cannot sit there. The, the banks, they, they trade heavily. Yeah. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, they keep your money and they give you 0.33%. That's, that's what they give to you. Okay, they don't even give you anything at all. As a matter of fact, they deduct from you, I know, right? Yeah, I'm talking about fixed deposit now. Yeah. 10,000 in a month. You know what they need to do? They, be, they need to bring something better to the market. Something better than just cleaning. They need to increase their value. You are, you are, if, if you are, whatever you're currently getting is what you're currently worth. I don't care. Whatever you are currently getting is what you are currently worth. You might, think, you might think otherwise, but that's the truth. If you want more money, get more skills. People will pay you. You cannot compare what you bring to the table. You know Ngozi? Yeah. Iwala. Yeah. That woman is rated one of the best economists in the world. She makes a lot of money. Do you think that she will go and receive 10,000 naira? No, she has studied. If you learn, you make money. It's, it's cause and effect. If you add trading skill to your portfolio, your income will increase. There's nothing you can do about it. If you doubt me, set up a new business and then take, it, take care of that business very well, you make more money. It's natural. If you keep doing what you are doing, you keep getting what you're getting. There's no two ways about it. Some of you will think that you have 10 years experience. You don't. You only have one year experience repeated 10 times. So you don't get better on, on one skill. You don't increase your income on one skill. If you learn more things, you make more money. If you venture into more things, you make more money. The guy talks about financial freedom. He doesn't even know what financial freedom is. You cannot talk about financial freedom without first getting a permanent source of income. Do you understand what I just said? Yes. Let me give you the three. First, a job. If, whether a job, self-employment, or whatever, something that fetches a constant amount to you. That's where to begin. There are three ways you can make money in this life. See that it is, it is inherited. That's number one. Is it that your father, parents, if you're a relative to Dan Tata or Dan Gote or all of these guys, you can, never, you can never be poor. Are you aware? By default. You can never be poor, even if you're a prodigal child. You are not allowed to be poor. That's how you can be rich. By inheritance. Secondly, it can be trusted to you. What I mean is you can just come in contact with good luck. You can come in contact with a friend, an old friend. And they say, ah, there's an opening you know, in the government house. Of course, the government house is where the money is, right? So that's, that one is no effort, right? It's luck. It's trusted to you. You win, you win the lottery, right? You travel with your family. Outside, you have a job, right? That's luck. But we can't rely on that. That's false hope. That's what gamblers do. They rely on false hope. They know there's money to be made. They go for it, they reach out, and they never get it. It's false hope. The last category is where majority of us find ourselves. We have to work out our salvation. Right? And if you fall into this category, as most of us do, including myself, you have to follow this process to financial freedom. You need a job. 
You need a consistent source of income. That's the first step. You can't bypass it. Except you want to hurt people. You need first something that puts in a certain amount. And then, according to these guys, they recommend that even if it is 10% of that income, you can save. It makes sense, right? Even if it's just 10%, just keep it somewhere and keep working. You're doing a job and they pay you 50,000 or they pay you 100,000 or they pay you 250. You take out 10% and you continue to save it. Over time, you would have had some capital to work with. Am I right? And then you're going to see that to actually become financially free, you need to, you need to add time. I mean, you need to be patient. It can't happen overnight. Because it, it becomes very funny when majority of you come here and you expect to make this money fast. When you have not figured it out in years. It will usually take time. Now, when you get a job, when you get a job, the next thing you want to do is to make sure you pay yourself, which is the keeping some part. Then accumulate that money for some time, right? When you accumulate the money, how many of you play Monopoly? Monopoly, you, you, get, you, get, you get three greenhouses and one big hotel. Three greenhouses, you sell them, and then you get what? One red hotel. That's financial freedom. Do you understand what I just said? It's a game. You can start by buying a flat and put it on rentage. If you don't have money to buy a flat, buy a shop and put it on rentage. Are you hearing me? It will take time. I'm not saying it will happen overnight. But you can start to plan that thing today. You are where you are today because of what you did yesterday. Where you are today is as a result of your plan in the past five years. And where you will be in the next five years will be as a result of the plans that you will start to culture from today. If for any reason you neglect what I'm saying, you will find yourself five years from today and still where you are in a cycle. Just make money, you spend it, you make money, you spend it, you work your ass out. And then you forget that there's going to be a time when your back will fail you. You can no longer stand up and go to work. Now you will now see what importance time is. What you don't have in physical cash, you can make up for in time. That's why I started by telling you that time is more important than money. Time. You don't have money. If you keep 10,000 naira somewhere where it generates, we call it an asset class, it can grow in 10 years. And it was 10,000, it was small. But 10 years is a lot. And 10 years will multiply. You know what got me started on this journey? I did an investment then. I went for a seminar like this. It was BTC. And then I was a student in Port Harcourt. I, I did an investment with BTC. It was around, I think I used just 10,000 naira or so. Then I just forgot about it. But later, I heard over the radio, somebody was talking about BTC. I'm like, oh, I opened one BTC one time. So I have all those details. I have a, a constant mail. So I just logged in and checked. And my, I saw close to a million naira sitting in that account. Just within a space of five years. 900 and something thousand. I withdrew about 100,000 and ate it to be sure it's real money first. <laughs> right? And then I told myself, that means there's something here. There's something here. So I started to study. I didn't have, 10,000 was small. But five years is not small. If I tell you to do something for five years, you won't like it, Abi. Feel like it's far away. I'll tell you why Warren Buffett is our mentor. He bought shares when they are small and kept them for many years. Are you aware? That's why he's among the richest in the world today. They invest and forget that they are patient people. We are aggressive. That's why we lose money. You want to make money if you want. See, if you want to make money overnight. Is there, even in the market, it's called leverage. Leverage is what allows traders to use small money to multiply their, their profits. But you know the effect of leverage? The effect or the downside is that the same way your money will rise is the same way your money can fail. So leverage is not for you. The first thing I will teach you is that you shouldn't use leverage. And that's the only way to stay in the market. 
Don't use leverage. If you use leverage, you lose your money, except you are exceptionally skilled. That's the highest level. You have to be an intuitive trader. That's the highest stage of trading. You have to get to the point where you can take yourself out of a bad trade without feeling any hitches. If you can't, leverage will mess you up. And then you start to chase the market. I don't use leverage. City Forex doesn't use leverage, by the way. We're regulated under ACES. ACES puts a hallmark. You cannot use any leverage that is above 1 is to 30 on major currency pairs. 1 is to 30. Meaning that if you have money in your account, you cannot lose more than 5% or 10% in a trading day. That's the maximum you can lose. So it takes you away from even having to expose yourself to discipline. Because a lot of people talk about discipline. It's difficult to be disciplined, are you aware? It's not feasible. The only thing we do, we put an algo there that stops us from having to deal with being disciplined. If you want to press buy with a high loss, it won't work. Don't discipline yourself. We don't want you to be disciplined. Do the right thing. If you're an institutional trader, you've got to trade like an institution. Leverage is going to make you use small money to make big money. Leverage is using small money, making high returns. It is for people who don't have capital. If you had a millionaire in your account and then you make 20, 000, uh, uh, 20%, that's around 200,000, is it not? Yes, but somebody who has 100,000 in their account and wants to make 200,000, you see where the problem comes. You trade right with a million naira, no leverage, and you make 20%. And you keep your 1 million, it's safe. But you have 100,000, and then a YouTuber will tell you that you can multiply it. You should buy here and sell here. Buy here and sell here. See how I bought this car. Buy here and sell here. And then you put hard earned money and buy here and sell there, and then you throw your money away. Forex is a lucrative business. Forex is positive. Forex, you can make money with Forex. There is no, I am not exaggerating it. It's clean. It's a hidden way to be, to be rich. I'm talking financially free. You won't answer to anybody. You live and work anywhere in the world. So this thing, I'm, this thing I'm sharing with you is real, as you're about to find out. The only thing you're going to do for me is, as I'm telling you, just believe. If you doubt me, keep my information somewhere and go your own way. You will still come back. Okay, uh, let's go back to my job. I can do medicine and still teach and still trade. You can do your job and still trade and still do any other thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is a, you don't need to go to the office. We go to the office just for the sake of having a physical contact. That's all. It's not necessary. All you need is somebody to teach you and teach you well. And then once you have learned the right things, you start to implement them. And then observe your, just observe what happens to your bank account in the next six months. Then you begin to understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, keep going. Yeah, um, now the financial markets. Guys, this is important. The reason the financial markets is important is that is where Forex is like a small part of the entire financial market. Okay, so I need to start from the mother and then come down so that you understand where we are. Who can tell me what is peculiar to something referred to as a financial asset? What's a financial asset? Yeah, you, 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 you can talk. Just introduce yourself and talk. Yeah. It's an asset that can be traded. Financial assets. Assets. Yeah. It's an asset that can be traded. Can I give $10 to somebody who gets the answer right? 
Growth. That's what it means. Growth. He said it in his own language, but that's the correct thing. Please take note. Uh, do you know what happened to my BTC? Look, at, look, look here. What do you have here? Cryptocurrency. It's an asset. It has an intrinsic nature of rising. And then when you put this money there, it might not rise that day. That's why I find it funny when I see people who say they are selling BTC and giving people return on investment every month. Because BTC is not going to rise every day or every month. Is it not? There are months where BTC doesn't rise. But we know that generally it will rise. Do you understand? That's what makes it an asset. And that's what made my 10,000 Naira rise. See, a lot of us make a lot of mistakes. And even if, even if you, your parents got it wrong, you can correct that mistake. I'm going to share something with you going forward, and then you will understand what I'm trying to say. If something is an asset, it will rise. You cannot make money without understanding this asset class. You cannot make money without putting your money in an asset class. If I tell you get a job, save, and go into real estate. Abi, property, Abi, buy a shop and put it on rentage. You can go to Dumont and buy a shop and put it on rentage, is it not? Or buy a flat and put it on rentage. You get to the point where you can buy a building, are you aware? Because that's the nature of a property. You will get to the point where you can buy a building and put it on rentage. And then before you know you have two or three buildings, are you, are you, do you believe what I'm saying? And then if you sell those three buildings, you can erect a standard hotel in this town. If you do that, you will never be broke till you die. Your children will come and enjoy it. Are you aware? Of course, we know that a hotel can depreciate after the first eight years. But it will still serve you for many years. The property will serve you for many years. That is just one class. There is the BTC. There is the Forex, currency market. There is stocks, Apple. Apple. You, do you think that you can... You, do you know the price of Apple when it started? You know they started from iPhone what? iPhone uh, 4, Abby? Yeah. iPhone 4. Today we have iPhone what? 12. What's the price? Crazy. You know what? Let me show you something real quick. I'm going to come back to this. But overall, what do you see? Rising. Is it not? Let me, let me, let me, tell, you, let me tell you something. In our native language, if in 2000 and, let's say 2009 or 2010, you bought Apple, Apple shares, $10, that's the what around that period, $10, $10 at that time, dollar at that time was I think around 160 or thereabout. If you buy $10, it means that it would be around, uh, let's just say, 1,600, Abi, Because $100 will be 16,000, right? So 10, 10, just $10 will be around 1,600 1, Naira. If you bought it at this point, by 2015, right? By 2015, that $10 you bought will be worth 66 million Naira. So if your parents had bought $10 worth of Apple stock when this whole iPhone thing started, today as I speak with you, you will go to your brokerage account and withdraw $66 million. Do you understand what I just said? Your, that's what I was trying to say when I said, even if your parents didn't do the right thing, you can correct it. And as I told you that this gathering might change your mindset about all of these things.
If you, if, you, if you put any money, anything, it's a seed. If you put anything in a financial asset, it will rise whether you like it or not. It does not depend on you. Now, remember when Buhari uh, came to sit? He went to the north and carried spaghetti. He raised it up. He said, how much is this? Abi, the people started uh, saying, how much? 150. Uh, 120. Then he started crying. He said, how can, how can PDP be selling this thing? 120, 150. That, that if they vote him, he will reduce it to 30 naira. I'm serious. I'm not making it up. This is life. He said it. He said that how can you buy spaghetti, one spaghetti for 100 and something naira? People started shouting, say Baba, say Baba. Do you know that the youth went and burnt down all the um, tricycle, this keke, and the um, bi um, bike that PDP campaign guys bought to distribute to them? They, they set them ablaze. And we're shouting, say Baba, say Baba. But do you think it's Buhari's fault? It's not his fault. That thing is an agricultural commodity. It has an intrinsic nature to appreciate. It's not anybody's fault. You know what crude is? Crude is a financial asset. It's energy. It must rise. We saw crude at 20 naira. We saw crude at 40 naira. I saw crude at 40. I saw crude at 60. We saw crude just yesterday at 140, 160. Today crude is at what? 200 and something. What, what is happening to it? If I plot a graph, you're going to see something like this. Nobody, no government can change it. Are you aware? <laughs> you might not understand what I'm saying. No government can change it. Gary has never gone down. It's an agricultural commodity. It's an asset. That's why that guy is getting $10. It has an intrinsic nature of growth. If you plant your money in anything that is an asset, it's going to grow. You can't do anything about it. It's going to grow. The only thing is it might not grow immediately. But it will grow. I'm going to share some important slides with you. Just, just stay with me. So this concept is key. Put your money in these things. Two or three years ago when Jumia was listed on uh, New York Stock Exchange, I bought. I didn't buy from my, I bought from my unborn children. I'm not going to do anything with $10. I'm not going to do anything with $100 now. But you know what? When these guys get to 20 years, they will cash out a lot of money from there. If you doubt me, call me in 20 years and ask. That's what we're talking about. We open a blockchain wallet and buy BTC not because we want to cash out BTC immediately. We know that BTC will rise. It is a fresh and hot cake in the financial class. I saw BTC at $500. Today, you know what BTC is worth? If you, have, if you have just 1,000 Naira in BTC when it was $500 per BTC, today you will be a billionaire. Billionaire, I'm not talking about millionaire. That is the way these things are designed. What makes it possible for us to make money from the Forex market? Forex is an asset class. If you learn how to trade correctly, you can generate income. The only problem people have is that they come in with greed. And they want to make money fast. If you have in your head that you can make money from this place, but you're not in a hurry, you're going to do the right thing and you will get the money. I'll go back to the asset classes so that uh, I can just show you so that uh, you don't come to this seminar and not know all of these things. Well, you have currencies. Currencies is everything Forex. Right? You have currencies. You have shares. I just mentioned, mentioned Apple. When, when uh, I mean, when Apple came out, it, it didn't used to be sleek like this. Is it not? 
Today you buy a piece of this for about 1 million naira. 1 point something million naira if you want to get one of these devices. That is why if you bought Apple $10 about 5 years ago, you will be cashing out today. Because it's an asset class. It's bound to rise. If that's the only thing you want to take home today, just understand that you got to you got to put your money in an asset class. I'm not asking you to put your money in City Forex. Put your money in an asset class. Don't put it and hope to remove it tomorrow. Leave it. That is the cure. That is the cure. It can't happen overnight. A lot of us are, are, are extremely religious. But these things don't happen overnight. You can actually pray your way out and then you fall among the lucky guys that wealth gets trusted to. But we can't rely on those false hope, is it not? We have to work it out. Apple is a share. It's just unfortunate that we are in this side of the world. Where if you are here, I mean, there are a lot of limitations. But I'll tell you what, internet is a blessing. Because you can sit in your house and acquire some of these things. Without stepping out. Without having a lot of draft and papers and all of that. Just with your phone. Internet, that's all. You sign up and then you buy with your card. That's all. Go to eToro. In eToro, you can buy Apple and leave it. Google is also, you know, an asset class. They, they, once they get listed, once you get listed, you're an asset class. Can they drop? Yes. Are you aware that they can drop? Yes. You can drop. So usually when you're, when you're taking all these things, you have to be sure that there is a good project behind it. Cryptocurrency is good. It's an asset class. But it's not all cryptocurrencies that are rising. Have you ever heard of Electronium when it came out? Yes, Electronium. And some people bought. Today, Electronium is not doing well. Am I right? Yes. So you've got to make sure there is a solid project behind it. So that we say it's an asset class does not mean that everything works like that, right? It's not every too much money compared to somebody who sells the ones that, you know, people consume faster. So you've got to take note of all of those things I'm saying now. So that's where you need a financial expert, you need the financial knowledge to make the decision. Indices is, is called um, index. And then what they, what they are is, for example, S&P 500, in America, they put together all the top 500 companies. As, as, as long as you're a company in America and you're doing well, they will add you as part of this index. So you have a graph like the one I showed you, and then people can invest in them. Is that okay? So we know that even if two or three companies fail, the other ones that are doing well will sustain the bad ones, right? So it comprises of 500 companies. Okay? So it's an asset class and it can rise. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Exactly. Exactly. So when you go to your broker, you want to buy S&P 500, you are going to get filled for the current price of S&P 500. And then is, you, you have that share sitting down there. So it starts to appreciate. So whatever your money will become is the current value of S&P 500. So if you appreciate that money also, asset classes. Okay. And then energy, that's crude oil, petrol. They are asset classes. They will keep rising. No government can change it. No government can change it. The only thing that can stop it from rising is if there is an alternative source that surmounts it so that supply and demand is imbalanced. Is it not? Yes. Because that's what drives price, supply and demand. As long as people continue to request for it, it will keep rising. Can't change it.
will keep rising. And then you have cryptocurrency. Okay, BTC and the rest of them there. So for those of you who don't understand what's going on, what we do is, you see these guys, everybody here is tradable. But why we focus on Forex is because the capacity of Forex is much more larger than every other person. Forex has, if you look at the entire asset class, you, you have FX, you have shares, and then etc. Now, Forex has a daily cycle, I'm talking of capacity, of $6.6 trillion in a day. $6.6 trillion. And then for shares, the cycle is around $25 billion. So if you are sitting and then trading shares, this is the amount you are dealing with. If you are sitting and trading Forex, this is the amount that is revolving. Forex is currency, Naira, dollar, uh, everything currency, that's what Forex is. So you're talking about all the money in the world, actually. Even if you're not meaning it, you know, directly. You're just saying that this is the capacity of the market. Now, I will, I will stay with the bigger bucket, by the way, right? If I have $6.6 trillion, I want to stay there. Even if it's $10 I can take in a day, I will, I'll be okay. Is it not? I mean, you have about $6 trillion revolve around the world every day, and you cannot learn a skill. And you know why people will go and register with Google and start to be maybe affiliates or something? It's because Google is a big company, is it not? And then you can attach yourself to this big company and profit from it. You see people call themselves YouTubers, and Google pay them. Abi, when you watch a, a video, there's an ad. Once that, you watch that ad and it, it, the person's video starts, they know that, okay, this person's video has warranted you, know, you to watch and then see an ad, and then there's a triangle split. They give you some money, because we pay heavily for these ads, are you aware? We have a budget of over a million naira on ads on social media, every month. So, you, you pay them, you, you literally pay Google. Yes, to advertise for you. And now Google will take part of that money and pay that person that affiliated to them. Do you understand? I'm just making you understand this affiliate thing. Now, as a forex trader, you are affiliating yourself to this capacity. That's what I'm trying to say. And in, in shares, in shares, if you go to eToro and look at all those traders over there, you see that what they make on the average per annum is 20%. If you look to pay, make more than 20% on, on shares, you are going to lose your money. See, listen, the best shares traders of all time is George Soros. And he made 40% per annum. Because some of you will, will think that when you hear somebody offering you 15% uh, per month is too small. And that comes down to you being greedy. Is it not? Aggressive. If you're aggressive in this market, you will lose your money. I will tell you. You will lose your I can't. I don't know how else to make you understand. You can't multiply money in the market. I will teach you. Then your eyes will open. You will now see what is realistic. You will know that if somebody is telling you 40% per month, the person is, is crazy, man. Because it's not possible. Do you know what it means? You are exposing about half of your capital. And if you get a losing trade, which you will usually get, you lose all the money. So when you trade shares, you're looking to make around 20%, 16% per year. But then when you trade Forex, because of the liquidity, we can usually design a system that will help us to generate money within a short time, right? With the help of the leverage also. Is it not? If you search your phone on Google, they'll tell you the average Forex trader makes 20% per month. That's true. Okay, so you can make around 20% per month. If you, if you trade Forex, this is realistic. You can make, this is per month, right? And then this is around 16% per annum. Okay, if you want anything more than this, uh, you are in the wrong place. Some people buy gold. 
That's also an asset class. But we cannot even guarantee that you're going to make a certain percentage, is it not? If at all, by the end of the year, you just have a little profit. If that year, the, the gold rose, or maybe crude rose, Abi, just get small money. But now I'm sharing with you the liquidity of the market. So Forex is very liquid, as you're about to find out. One pip, $100. It's possible. Just one team, $100. One team, $200. One, yeah. A lot of money. There's a lot of money in it. There's a lot of money in it. But let me tell you the irony. For you to make the money in it, you need capital to go and get the money. If you come with small capital, they will carry out your own money and add to this $6 trillion. <laughs> right? So that's, that's a very important information that you have to understand. All right, so uh, let me go forward. So as a matter of fact, once you get interested in the financial market, you are referred to as a speculator. Is that okay? A speculator is somebody who is willing to take a certain amount of risks for a future profit. Do you understand what I just said? That's a speculator. So there are different types of speculators. Prop firms, hedge funds, um, dynamic traders, retail traders, banks, all these people are classified as speculators. Okay? So take note of that. You are a speculator. And then you will be somewhere around here. All right? Now, let's, let, 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 me, let me explain to you. If you, want to, if you want to buy, like, gold, for example, see how money is made. If you, if you feel that gold is going to appreciate in value, let's say this thing I'm holding is a bar of gold, one ounce of gold, right? And the price, as I'm holding this thing now, as we are talking now, the price of this thing is, let's say, 10,000 naira. It's gold bar. It's 10,000 naira. Now... You, you, somebody told you that, ah, the way I'm seeing gold is like um, somebody wants to use gold as souvenir next year. Maybe damn good day. So the price of gold is going to rise. That's inside information. Something like that. Something that tells you that it will appreciate. That's what we do in technical analysis. Something tells you that it will appreciate. Abi, and then you buy it. So that's what I'm trying to say now. They tell you that, okay, uh, Buhari is going to share so, so, so amount of gold to every Northerner. So you know that gold will be worth more, is it not? That's demand and supply. So when the demand increases, and then we have a fixed number of gold, the price now will rise. Abi? So you will now go to the allergy at the bus stop and buy one of these. You can buy five pieces, or you can buy just one, depending on your pocket. Abi? Now, when we get to... Maybe that December period. This thing you bought 10,000 Naira will now be worth, let's say, 25,000. Right? It'll be worth 25,000. You will now carry that gold that you bought and took home. Because you went to the allergy and bought it, right? Kept it in your locker in your house. By the way, that's the way our parents kept money. Is it not? They buy gold. In the bank, you can go and deposit gold. Are you aware? Physical gold. That's, that's, that's an asset. That's the way they kept money. So if they need money, they can go and sell some of those necklace and chain and all those bracelets and then cash it to liquid money and use it. Is it not? They used to use wrapper too. They buy wrapper and then they, they put it in a box. They just buy it that time because they know next it will be an old kind of wrapper that is not common. And then they can sell it for more. But gold was the most common, gold and silver. And then the ones that have a lot of money buy pebbles, diamond, and the rest. So they keep it as an asset. That's what I'm explaining to you now. You buy this gold and keep it. When it appreciates around December at 25,000, you go and sell it, is it not? You go back to the malam and say, okay, I have uh, this gold. The malam will say, ah, madam, you give me... Uh, uh, it's 25,000, but I buy for you maybe 22,000. Is it not? You say, no, if it's not 24, I will not sell. Are you with me? You sell it. And then you've made how much? Around 14,000. What I just explained to you is what an asset class is. 
Now, this thing I just explained, if you do it electronically, you are trading Forex. Do you understand me now? If you think that something is going to rise, we call them instrument. If you think the instrument will rise, you will take some money and buy it. I'm going to show you now how to get started on that thing. You take some money and buy it. When you buy it and it rises, we call this in technical analysis. You analyze it, the market is at a, an area where you think it's going to appreciate from. You go in and buy. Then when you buy, you wait and see the outcome. Is it not? You wait and see the outcome. So if it rises, are you aware that this thing I bought, Buari can come and then he will disappoint us as he has always done, eh? <laughs> and then <laughs> the value of the gold will even depreciate. Is it not? Is it possible that your 10,000 naira will become 8,000? Yes, it's possible. 2,000. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's, 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 that's you, you get the picture now. So, you can either win or lose on any financial decision. And I'll, I'll tell you what is the same with real life. You go into a business, it's dicey. You want to start up a fresh business. It takes a lot. And whether you win or lose, it's still not, you know, it's not 100% sure. Is it not? It's not. You start a fresh business. Even if you have the market ready for you, you can come in and then your product will not sell. Yes. Okay, so this is where you can start. Now, the, the important things for us on all of this is you, you can't buy gold directly from CBN, right? Because you don't have enough money to go directly to the CBN and buy. This will buy in bulk. As a matter of fact, before you become a commercial bank, you need around 30 billion naira, is it not? To register as a financial bank with CBN, is it not? You need, you need 30 billion naira in your account. I don't know if they've increased it, but that's the last figure I, I know of. Yes, 30, 30 billion. Right? So, you, you cannot deal with CBN directly. Are you aware? If you send a mail to CBN with Gmail, it will not go through. Are you aware? <laughs> I'm serious, so. Last time I was contacted from CBN, it was a... It, 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 they send it from CBN's mail, the gov, to our company's mail. You can't communicate with them because these boys have dealt with them. You can't communicate with them. <laughs> yeah, all these, all these guys who win Yahoo, I don't know. It, 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 it's, I, it, well, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so now you see, this is where you are. You, can't, you, can't, you don't have enough funds to deal directly with the CBA. So you're going to need some form of, uh, it's just like not going to CBN to do your savings account. Do you understand what I'm saying now? You need a commercial bank, right? And then these banks are regulated by CBN. Okay? So, and we are lucky these days that if a bank folds, our money doesn't go, Abby. Yeah. There's a regulation now that stops it. In the past, if a bank folds down, your money is gone, oh. But now it's not like that anymore. So that's the essence of regulation or regulatory bodies. So you put your money in your normal local bank account and it sits there. Now, if you want to participate in a financial asset, you need a broker. A broker is just a middleman. Broker is not a big anything. It's just a middleman. The reason why you don't see brokers arrange themselves the way uh, GT Bank and Assets Bank and all of them is because most of what they do is electronic. Is that okay? They, if, if you open your phone and there's an ad, it will likely be from a broker. You get? Because they are electronic. It's the bank that needs you to come and walk into the banking hall. They don't need you to walk into their banking hall. From the comfort of your home, you have a brokerage account. And then a broker is as good as a bank. Broker has what we call KYC, know your customer. You have to submit your documents before you make a withdrawal. They have to be accountable for you. You have to submit proof of residence. ID card, valid one. The list they will take 
is NIN sleep. At, and then you attach your birth certificate to it. Right? Except you have something like, because the NIN doesn't have date of birth on it. It doesn't have. No. It does not. So, except it's the permanent hard copy, the plastic one. But if it's a sleep, it doesn't have. So what you do is, the back is, the back is blank. So you, you use the front side as the front of the NIN and the back side as your birth certificate. That's how you can, it can suffice as a valid ID card. Do you understand? So, but if you have a driver's license or international passport, you don't need all of that. So you can just submit it and then they approve your account. Okay, so it's as good as a normal local bank. Now, in layman's term, a broker is like a middleman. Let's say a, there's an old woman who is a widow. Maybe she wants to sell her husband's property in the island. She cannot come to... There's no place where she will go and say, I want to sell this house. Abi, the only way she can sell it is to go to a broker. Do you understand? Let's say your, your husband has a ship or a yacht. And you are really old. You need the money. You need to sell it. So you go to a yacht broker. Is that okay? And then it's the broker that will look for a buyer. Do you understand it now? So the broker will look for a buyer. If you put 10,000 Naira in a brokerage account and start to trade, that 10,000 Naira can change. Are you aware? It, because you are trading with it. That's the only difference with a normal local bank. If you put 10,000 Naira to stay that way, it might not stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> Different, different alerts. <laughs> Maintenance and VAT. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a pity. Because uh, these guys keep your money, but they make a lot of money. And they are very, 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 very stingy. I, I'm telling you. I mean, you can't open all of these branches all over the place if you're not generating cash flow. Are you aware? So they, they keep their money. If you see the bank arguing percentage with us, you will, you will, you will, you will wonder. 0.0% they will keep arguing. The last Zoom meeting we had stayed for over three hours because we were deliberating on whether to add or reduce 0.5%. And we were looking at, the, at of course, it's, everything is about mitigating risk and loss. So we have to present, give a complete presentation of why 0.5 should not be there. Both of them are the same. The only difference here is that, see, this one, the way you have UBA app, and then you see your bank balance, and you can transfer money from there, and maybe uh, do, maybe recharge card and all those things. That's the same way your broker have an app. Is that okay? In that app now, you can say, I want to buy gold. Or I want to sell the gold I bought. Do you understand what I just said now? So they are the same. It's just that here I have, here, the, the money can rise or drop, depending on your trading activity. But here, the money is constant. Anytime you need it, you go back and get it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. So if you have a money seated in a brokerage account, it will even stay there. It's even better than a savings account because the broker have no right to touch your money. Yes, there's no maintenance of card. There's nothing. No VAT. I'm serious. Listen, eh? I don't keep a dime in the Nigerian bank. Even when I was little, when I was little, if my money gets to 21,000 naira, I'll go and buy $100 and keep it in my wardrobe. You can't keep your money in. Go and get a dumb account. Why do you think there are all these regulations about um, how we can operate our dumb account? People who have money don't keep it in Naira. Naira is devalued. Are you aware? Do you know that 100,000 can keep you in Ghana for several years before, but it's not the same way now? Are you aware? 
Do you know that Ghana is better off than Nigeria in terms of dollar? Ghana is about 61 naira. Are you aware? Per dollar. Do you know that we gained independence before South Africa did? South Africa is 1990. Mandela regime and all. Apathy. Do you know that South African rand is almost one dollar? Do you, do you know that South Africa can be traded in the forex market? South African rand can be traded in the forex market. But Nigerian Naira cannot. When these youths were fighting, I don't know if they even understand what they were fighting for. We are in a big mess here. I don't, I don't keep anything in Naira. Today, if that's the only thing you want to go and do, go and open a dumb account. It's, it's very easy. Go to GT Bank and say you want to take it, uh, an additional account opening form. They give you another form. You fill the form and give it back to them. That's all. Of course, you will need to get a referee. No, 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 no. There's nothing like that. It's your, it's your money. The only time you talk about deducting is if you use a visa card. Visa will charge you $10 per year. That's on the visa card. If you make, use it for transactions online. But there's no, they, they don't have any business with that dollar account. The dollar, the dollar account is seated with Citibank. And then it's seated with Citibank and then they don't touch it unless you do a transaction. They can't touch your money now. Mm -mm. If, but if you do a transaction, they will let you know beforehand the charge for, that, for the cost of that FX transaction. And then if you agree, you go ahead and then they deduct, they deduct it. So you can't just put dollar in the, in the account and then they say they are taking maintenance fee or taking anything. They, won't, they don't do that. Yes, please. Yes. For the year. That, that's from Visa. That's what I just said. It's $10. Well, what bank is that, please? Access Bank. I, I know it's not in GT Bank. That dollar is in CT Bank. It's a world bank. It's not, it's, not, it's not GT. GT is just like a link for you to access Citibank. You have what we call a SWIFT code. That's like your account number with Citibank. If you want to receive money, you need that code. The IBAN and the SWIFT. Yeah. It's fun to you. If you want, you, you can even do it by yourself. Go to your MP4 and then print out your statement and then you have a statement from your history. Yes. You can. Right, it's not real money. So you use it to learn how to operate the app. Is that okay? How to manage your risk, how to place your trade, how to recognize your setup first before you now put in hard-earned money, okay, and start trading, right? Okay, so yeah, usually um, retail traders have to go, in, uh, go through the broker, you know, to get to CBN. You use your card, deposit, and then you can buy and sell. Okay, that thing I told you to download, MT4, is like the marketplace. So, OISC, that's the one they call MetaTrader 4. Okay, there are better apps that I will introduce you to, those of you who are going to still be with us. Right? So, I'll give you more. MT4 is like typewriter. It's like typewriter. Yeah, it's like analog. There are more complex trading platforms that can help you to trade better and manage your risks and your trades better. Do you understand? So going forward, I will introduce you to all of those. So, but for now, let's get started with the R, A, E, O, U, before we go to onomatopoeia. Is it not? Yes. All right. Okay, I already shared that slide. It's an empty space. And then, uh, guys, uh, this is just um, supposed to be where you have all the different calculators in the world. There's nothing you want to calculate that you can't calculate on money chain. So one of it is profit interest, and then uh, your, um, your profit. And then what I did here is, I want to show you what is realistic, right? I want to show you what can be made, so that you, you, you know what to do. I've told you that, see, somebody asked what's the minimum capital. You have a need that is going to be as much as 500,000. 
you have to measure your own expectancy. Equate it with 500,000 and know what capital you need. Is it not? You understand what I just said? See, if you need, if I need 1 million naira every month and I make my expectancy is 20 or 10%, do you know how much I need? I need 10 million naira in my trading account. That is what is realistic. If you go for anything more than this, you're going to throw that money away. Because it will mean that you are risking too much. I will teach you next week. Because we're going to start trading. You will see how the trading decisions are made. And you will know why you are not supposed to put in too much at once. Yeah, you can go to moneychim.com. It's a website. I don't know if there's an app, but I know it's a website. So you can just log in there. Okay, guys. If, if you are a businessman and you go to China with 10 million naira to import goods, let's say textile materials, you go there, you buy textile materials worth 10 million naira and you ship it. You come back to Nigeria, go to Aba, and then you put it in a warehouse after some months. Abi, you wait for it to come. You travel to China, buy all these things, ship it, and come back, Abi, and then wait for it to come in. When it eventually lands, and then it comes to your warehouse there in Aba, you start to sell it out. Is it not? Do you know that the maximum profit that man is going to make is 4 million naira? I'm giving you physical data. And it's going to take him roughly four months. Do you understand what I just said? From the time when he traveled to China to when he bought those goods and put it in the container and then shipped it down and then went to clear it, bring it down to a bar, stuck it in the warehouse and call the uh, customers or wholesalers to come and buy. It's going to take about four months. And he's going to make around four million naira. Meaning that by the time he offloads everything, he will be having around 14 million in his account. You know what that thing means? He's making around 10% per month. That's the way business is done. If you expect anything more than that, you are in the wrong gathering. If you need money, more money, go and get trading capital. If you want to use a small money to make a big money, you're going to be doing something which is good. That is capitalizing on leverage. But you are running at the risk of losing your capital. If you look at leverage product, they'll tell you that leverage products are risky. They are risky. During COVID, when the volatility was high, retail traders lost 7.724 million dollars within three months. As opposed to as opposed to $1.1 million in a year. You know why? Because of leverage. And that is why ACs brought it back down from 100 to 30. Because if you don't have leverage, you will not take a lot size that will ruin you. All right, so it's important that you get the concept of what can be made so that you don't come here with the wrong expectancy or expectation, rather. You don't come here thinking that we're going to double money for you. We are not doubling money. You. Yes. No, I'm not scaring you away. I am just telling you that you can trade even with $10. To get a brokerage account is easy. Are you aware? It's very easy. It's almost free. It's free, actually. To sell the, the, the building. We'll, we'll collect. Is it not? We'll take some, even if you rent a shop, you'll pay 5 or 10% to the agent or the broker. Is it not? I hear now. So even as a broker, there are commissions. But it will usually reduce to the barest minimum because of competition. 
How many of you remember when Zenit Bank? You need around uh, one, yeah, one fifty thousand to open a bank, a, lo a savings account. Abi, Zenit Bank, five hundred thousand current account. Yes. Have you seen any of Zenit Bank's latest? Zero account. That's what happens when competition comes. That's what happens when competition comes. The, the broker's commission is very, very little. Before, you cannot trade from your house. Brokers, you have to go to the, it's called OTC, over the counter. You go there and then you discuss with your broker, you tell him what you want to buy, tell him why you want to buy, it, and you pay, and you pay your commission heavy. But today it's not like that. You can trade from your home. Almost zero commissions on IC markets. If you're with Evertrade and you're on gold platform, on gold level, you're using about 0 0.5 on Euro USD. Okay, so, yeah, so the point I'm making on this slide I'm sharing with you is that that, that China, that man that went to China, came back, he is doing his own manually. We are going to do ours electronically, digitally. Is it clear now? That's the only difference. That's how business is made. If you look for anything more than that, you're going to get your fingers burned. Money, making money will take time. There's no overnight success anywhere. Unless you want to hurt people. If you want to make money the right way, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. If you got it wrong, you can get it right now. Is it not? You can fix it. Even if you have gray hairs, as long as you're not, you not gone yet, you can fix it. Even if you don't want to fix it for yourself, you can fix it for your kids. You can fix it. It will take time. So fix it. Whether you fix it or not, that time will pass. Are you aware? Yes. It will pass anyway. Whether you are interested in fixing it or not, that time is going to elapse. So if I were you, I would fix it. I will start. If you have, if you have hundred dollar in a brokerage account, hundred dollar is around forty something thousand, right? Around forty six thousand, forty eight thousand, depending on uh, whatever you're doing. Now, if you have, if you have that amount in your account, and let's say you work a job that allows you to save around that forty thousand every month, instead of saving it in the bank or in the local uh, contribution, right? You save it in the brokerage account. And you are trading on that account. We are assuming that, we are assuming that you started with $100, you were saving $100 every month for the space of 12 months. This is to compound for one year, that's annually, that's 12 months. If you are an average trader and make around 20% per month, it means that by the end of the year, you make how many percent? 240%, right? On that money. Now, the calculator says that by December, if you start in January, by December, you will have sitting in that brokerage account $4,420. $1,000. But if you trade right, and take advantage of time and not leverage, you will make money. It's possible. Right? If you go to Instagram, you see the whole of last year, I had it published, my trading performance. What I got was 312%. Three hundred and twelve percent. You see the graph every month, the bars. You hover over the bars, you see how many percent I made that month. If you start to trade, of course, we made three hundred and something percent because of COVID. -o. There was a lot of volatility in the market. So as the market was falling, crude was falling. Crude got to 
zero. One tissue paper was worth more than crude. And then when it gets there, we know it will surely rise because it's an asset. It's an asset. If I see BTC falling down, you know what I do? I buy. It's an asset. When you hear that BTC is rising, it's late. If it gets to the news, it's late. When investors buy, is when nobody is talking about it. Yeah, you don't buy when everybody's shouting BTC is high. You will just buy the top of the market and you will hold a bad trade for many months. So this is what is realistic. I have other um, calculations I've done depending on your capital, depending on your, um, the amount, right? So depending on um, every month, right? After five years, after five years, just, just assume that you follow me up. Uh, for this, we have 10%. We're saying make 10% in a month. Don't make 20. Make 10 in a month. And then be saving $10, $10 for five years. Every month. By the end of five years, you're going to have seated in your brokerage account $16,000. In five years' time, because it's dollar, it's better than Naira. Are you aware? If you have, if you have 16,000 equivalents, 16,000 dollar equivalents seated in your account from now till that time, you won't be able to buy what 16,000 can buy in five years. Are you aware? But if it's in dollar, much more. I said the economy gets better. Is it not? Sir, you have a question. Yeah. That uses it. Okay, that's unemployment news. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. That is, that is one, okay? Give me the full story. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. So the second impression I had happened November last year. November last year. So there was a year that was like, so I'm giving 25%, 25%, and I'm like, so I'm still confessing that they were also asking. All right. Legitimately trading is easy for you can set it up by yourself. Are you aware? You can collect money and then say you give people percentage without trading. Do you know it's possible? Really? It's possible. I know somebody that came to me in the office and says that he's he's in debt of over one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. And this person doesn't know anything about risk management. So it's not everybody that comes and says that. That's why you are supposed to be here. You don't make... See, that you are intelligent does not translate to financial intelligence. 
You might know chemistry and know microbiology. It does not translate to knowing anything in the market. You are not qualified to make financial decisions for yourself. The same way you need a doctor and a lawyer is the same way you need a financial expert. If not, you keep throwing your money away. That person is supposed to use a tripartite system. When you, come, when you come down here, we set you up on a tripartite system. It saves my neck. It saves our neck. You, you put your money and then it's in the brokerage account and we are trading. There are people who do not know their, their, their expectancy, but they are trading for the public. What they do is they, they design a strong system of payment. And then, what, and then you say, ah, they are paying, they have been paying. Does not mean that they are trading. So if somebody gives you a certain percentage for a year, it doesn't mean that the person was trading. I'm not going to call names, but I've tried to work with some of the very, very, very big ones that are shut down, and I've seen that these people are not, they don't have a trading room, they don't have a trading floor, they don't have traders. As you are seated here now, if you learn to the point where you are good enough, and then you, you have an expectancy, you can trade the funds we have in City Forex. I don't care who you are, all I need to know is your expectancy, because what, you're not dealing with your discipline. We're protecting it. And then there's a maximum loss per day. So that you don't start revenging on the market. So before you even think about investing, you want to know what you're investing your money into. You, none of you will go and start a business without having full knowledge of the business. Why do you go ahead and invest without knowing anything about the market? That is, your brother or your sister does not translate to him. I mean, he might have a good intention, is he not? But then he doesn't know how to trade. He will kill himself. He will throw your money away. I'm just saying this so that, you, I mean, you, you, it, will be, it will be shameful if you come here and then you leave and you still get caught in this madness. Because a lot of people out there just want your money. Ask anybody for financial advice, you get it immediately. So you got to be careful, all right? And then that you can make a small money. I mean, you can make a lot of money in a short time. If I say 10%, I'm not setting it on stone, is it not? I told you even on Google, what's recommended is 20%, all right? So, but I'm saying, if you maybe have other things to do and you don't have that much time, Right? You can, you can just trade casually as a swing trader. There are different types of trader. Even if you're a doctor, you work in the OR. You can still trade. You just need a higher time frame. That doesn't allow you to look at the computer or your phone yeah, too often. So you can, you can trade. Right? And then you can chase uh, or, or have a target that is not too big because someone who is having more opportunities will make more money usually. Right? Somebody who has more opportunities will make more money usually. But somebody who doesn't have that much opportunity uh, will just rely on very few trades. Okay? And then there is also an excessive too much opportunity. We call it cherry picking. That's what they do when they call themselves scalpers. So but usually most of them don't know what they're doing. They just say, I'm scalper. Yeah. In a direction of bias from currency strength, I can double an account in one sitting. Meaning, if there is 50,000 Naira in that account, in one trading session, one New York trading session, I can roll it to 100,000. That is the question. If you, if, you hope to, if you hope to pay your bills, pay your rent, take care of your children, pay their fees, with this business, you can't rely on that kind of luck. You want to do something that is consistent. 
That's, that's, that's the thing. So leverage is for those that want to make quick money. They use the leverage. Beginners have no business with leverage. Because they don't even know what they are doing. You cannot start a trade and then you are taking leverage. That's what they allow you to do on all of this binary. The broker will make you win a lot of money, in, uh, say, um, see how I made this money. And then you sign up and put some money and then they will give you a lot of profit. You now run and go and, and, and calculate how much you would have made. Assuming that you say, oh, I put $10. Assuming I put $1,000 now. This $10 would have been $2,000 uh, and something dollar. You quickly go and sell your plot and put it there. And then you give yourself high BP. That's not how to trade. You want to trade? If I have a position running, I don't care. The maximum I use on a trade, the maximum is 0.75 per trade. It's people's money. <laughs> it's people's money. You don't want to mess with it. 0.75. When we start out in the month, because we do not have any buffer, we start very little. We start with 0.5, so that if the actual capital is violated, it doesn't go too deep. Then when we start to make some profit with 0.5, we now open up a bit. Rick's money, I mean, right? So you can do something like that. What? Yeah, like I not. Do you get that now? That's the same thing. That's the same way we operate. Okay, so we protect your money to a certain point. And then we make you accept that that 20% is not on us. It's on you. Are we together? In case you didn't understand that part in your agreement. Right? The 20% that is exposed, everybody is bearing the risk. You can't say it is on me. Is that okay? We are protecting your 80% and that's on us. But your 20% is exposed. It's exposed. The market is not my own. Right? The only thing we have done is to design all these algos that help us protect it. And then we have all these rules that we follow. But we cannot, we cannot say that we know everywhere all the direction of the market. Nobody can. All right? Yeah. Of course, if you are if you are if you are trading forex market, you can you can make money both ways. Whether the money is right, whether the market is rising or falling. I told you about COVID. If the market is crashing, we still make money. That's also an advantage. There's no recession in forex. Options is binary, and uh, it's not it's not exactly forex. I don't even know what those guys are doing there really, but it's not exactly forex. So, but they still use the same language. Yeah, they, they are gambling, actually. They, they use the same language, but it's not directly for it. You just, you just predict whether it will go up or go down. And then that's not trading. In trading, there are systems that you design to tell you what is going to happen. Real system. And that's why we're in business. If not, it will be gambling. Yes. Now, um... I'm taking it that majority of you here might be seeing all of these things for the first time, and there are mistakes that you might make. That's why I'm sharing this particular slide with you. Okay, inadequate education is a very common mistake. Some of you don't know as much as you need to know. You rely on your own intelligence to make these decisions. And then what happens? You get burnt, right? And then you run away. You run away from the oil well, right? Do not rush to trade. The market will stay here with many, many opportunities in the Bible, the first traders were Joseph. So it works. And then some people will come and then they have the bias, you know, somewhere saying that, oh, if this thing works, I mean, why don't you just trade for yourself? But I'll tell you what happened uh, in uh, Kings over there, right? You know the story of the leper? The leper. You know, the... They, they had uh, famine already, and then uh, they, they, were, they attacked them. So they, they, they fled and hid in the rocks, right? The Syrians had already camped, and then they were dying of hunger. So they talked to themselves and said, if we stay here, we'll still, we'll still die. Let's just 
uh, go there. Let's go there. And if they want to make us slaves, better. But if they want to kill us, all die and die. They are silver and gold. He said, this leper, they gathered the silver and gold, they gathered and gathered and gathered, hid them in the rock for their generations to come. When they got tired, there was no place to hide it again. They said, let us go back and tell the people. Let's go back and tell them. So, have whatever bias you want to have. For me, trading, everything I have today is accredited to Forex trading. I have to be honest with you, from a humble background. We learn the skill. And then I teach it because before I started teaching Forex, I teach math and physics in the university to the younger ones, right? So, this thing is something I like to do. And then, this is me coming back to inform the people. I have raised men. I have brought people, students right now, we have a three months course. These are people that we had seminars like this for last year, and they signed up, and then we're teaching them, those we are teaching live, that's physical, and the other ones online, right? And I already gave them the offer. Once we're through, I'm gonna sign them up with accounts for $10,000. All the students. Each. And then that thing is called a prop firm. A prop firm is a, a bank that keeps money and looks for traders. Show you where to find them. An example is F FTMO. They can give you as much as $100,000. The maximum you can, you can, you can take is $300,000. That's if you do well with the $100,000. If you get $300,000 to trade with, you share whatever profit you make with the prop firm. Do you understand? If you have, listen, listen. To get this account by yourself, if you want, go to www.ftmo.com, right? Now, you are going to pay a subscription fee to get started. Do you understand? So that's what I'm paying for them. Now, to get started, you're going to need around, let's say, uh, $170. Right? For convenience, let's use $200. Because it's rated in Euro, and sometimes it's 180 something, sometimes it's 170. So you, you take $200, you pay them, they'll give you an account of $10,000. They give you an account of $10,000. Now, if you get an account of $10,000, you know what happens? What happens is that at the end of the month when you are qualified, they share the profit with you 70 30 Do you understand what I just said? 70 30 30, 30 goes to FTMO. And then uh, you get 70 You have a six month um, profile. You can send it down to me. Mail it to Bennett at cityforexpro.com. Okay, I'll contact you. Yeah, if you have a six month track record. How, see, let me tell you how I got my breakthrough. I was trading my own account, a $100 account. But I, I traded well, right? I traded well. I wasn't using the leverage. If I, if I take a, a, a loss, it doesn't exceed 2%, meaning $2. I did that repeatedly for about three months. And then it, I, was, I was contacted by Zenit Bank. Okay, because the broker sees what you do. And then if you're consistent, they contact you. I'll, I'll teach you when we go deeper, those of you who stay with us, because I can't teach you everything here, right? There are brokers that trade against you, and there are brokers that don't trade with you. They take your orders to the market. If you're, a, if you're a trader that loses money, the broker takes the opposite side of your trade. But if you're a trader that makes money, they take your, your, your order to ECN. That's the central network. 
Okay, but that's by the way. All right? So but what I'm letting you know is, if you, can, if you have a record already, you can trade with us. Just mail to um, Bennett at cityforex.com. B -E -W -N -E -T -H. It's like Kenneth, but with a B. It's like Kenneth, but with a B. So that's Bennett at cityforexpro.com. Okay, so just, just send it and I will respond to you. And we'll continue from there. All right, so that's by the way. All right, so um, those of you who would like to trade with us, right? And then if you don't, I already mentioned prop firms like FTMO. And then if you have a track record, you can, you can work with them. Now, let me tell you what happened. I, I got a call that took me to Abuja. I think that was the first time on air for me. So they called me, are you Mr. Ben? I said, yes, okay, we are supposed to have a summit with us at uh, our head office in Abuja that I should come, that they have arranged uh, a flight for me. Ah. I arranged myself as best as I could and ironed the shirt I had. So I went there and yeah, the experience was good, but I was panicking. Because I didn't have too much experience, right? In around 16 to 22% on the average, right? But these guys understand what I can make for them. If I do 16% on 500 million, do you know what it is? You know what it is, right? So that was why they invited me. And then the gentleman is a white man. They, were, they, were, they had their round table. And then they had this massive uh, projector or screen. And then I was looking so tiny in front of the whole thing. <laughs> right? So they said that you've been a worker. We've seen your track record. That we would like to ask you a few questions. We're going to run the market now on real time. And then we want you to tell us where the market is going. Whether it's going to go up or go down. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I answer you whether the market wants to go up or go down? So, I did what was best. I told them that according to my, my, my knowledge, I am only right 60% of the time. Right? So it means that there is a chance that I can, I can, I mean, not get this correctly. So, luckily, that was the answer they wanted. They didn't want me to answer whether I was going up or down, right? Because it is based on TA. So they want you to, they want, they want to assess you to know whether you are the type of trader that is, that is saying you know where the market is going. You, you understand? Because that is the knowledge that makes us to throw our money away. If you are sure that the gold will rise, you will put all your money, is it not? But you have to know that there is a chance that it might not rise. So, but then the man now said, okay, uh, yeah, okay, but yeah, we understand that you have. So, but can you just look at it and tell us uh, where the market is going? So, I said, well, um, I'm not just going to tell you where the market is going. I'm going to tell you that the next couple of bars will be green bars. Meaning, I'm not telling you that the market is going up. I'm telling you that the next bar that wants to print is green. That's how good I am. Right? And then they opened it. My heart was beating. Ooh, ooh. I could hear my heart beat. You know? And then, you know how this uh, market will, first of all, go the wrong way? So it was red. The last minute, it just became an exhaustion bar. And then rose up. So I just did like it was nothing. But in my heart, I said, Jesus, <laughs> thank you. Right? So, um, that was how, um, that's how we got here, by the way. It's institutional. Our foundation is institutional. And that's why we, we, we can stay for this long. I am not somebody that uh, will go with inventories, offices all over town. Right? Although we're having an office now at the island. Uh, but that is because uh, most of you guys want to see a, a good office, is it not? Yes, you want to see big buildings. And you feel that they, they are trading forex. It's not true. I hope you know. 
You've got to be careful. Because we're going to impress you. We're making arrangements for a drone. And that building is quite tall. So when you see all of those things, you think that that makes it forex trading. It's not. It's not. Right? Those of you who are Catholics, don't forget that you don't eat meat. <laughs> if they make an investment over the counter, they get 23%. What will be showing for you on your dashboard is actually 15%. But your serial number here and your name will give you an additional 8%. Am I right? Yes. Additional 8%. So you get the privilege of receiving 23% by the end of the month. Is that fair? Yeah. For those of you who might want to try, try to see how the system works, right? You can just go in and then you get that privilege. But then it's not like that forever. So we'll go back to, in fact, by next month, the return will be 15%. Do you understand? And that's how it is going forward. Okay, so you get just 15%. Okay? Well, what we have on paper, what the actual thing is 50,000 Naira, because to open a brokerage, a, a single brokerage account, we need at, at least $100. But right now, we now have a broker that allows us uh, to reduce it to $10. To $25, not $10, that's $10,000. Okay, so usually with $10,000, around $10,000, you can start. Right? So that's like the minimum. Okay, and then we have from, the growth plan is from 10 k all the way to 2.99 million Naira. You get 15%. The only time you don't get 15% is on days like this when it's special. Right? When it's special. Then we announce it that today is the only day that if you come in from these 24 hours, or let's say 48 hours, you get 23% uh, on just your first payment. After which, uh, I'm print out my history. If you're not comfortable, I will show you my bank balance. <laughs> and then we help people to trade and then give them a uh, return on investment. Um, yeah, this is we teaching you how to trade. And then, like I said, a lot of you will take away the L, uh, in right, and just learn. And that's a problem. So you don't remove that L, right? You learn and earn, OK? You learn first. All right, and this is just a, a simple description of what happens at the back. When, we, we, when you put in your money now, that money is kept together, right? The fund manager is in charge of this. He is the one that creates the account. He's the one that mitigates the, the risk and the losses, right? He controls all of that. And then he invests all of this money into securities, which is trading, Forex. Is it not? Yeah. And then when this happens, he generates some return. And then this return is passed back to you. Like I told you, it is not every time that this securities will appreciate to the extent we have promised, right? And being, and being an open book, it's not every time we make as much as 15%. Two years ago in December, we made 12.5%. Back to the months that, that had money, Abby, and then balance the remaining 2.5% and pay out so that we can keep to our word. Is it not? You will not like it if I call you or send a mail to you and say that this month we didn't make 15%. Is it not? Many of you will begin to pull out. So we have to keep to our word. So I'm being honest with you because when you start to trade, you have an expectancy. It does not, it's not set on stone. You can go a little bit lower and also go a little bit higher. Are you aware? So, but overall, that's what you make. Okay? So that's what we do usually. And then we, we have a system that automatically pays you. It's like a salary at the end of the month. So it, it comes to your account. So if you have like a million naira, 150 comes to your account every month until you liquidate. That's until you order a withdrawal and then we close down that your own mini brokerage account. Do you understand? So as long as the money is sitting in your brokerage account, we continue to trade and it's triggered there and we bring out the profit and give to you. Right? That's the way it works. And, and as a matter of fact, we are the only company in this 
country that operates or allows the investor to operate with the broker. Every other person, whether the ones that are shut down or the ones that are still existing, do not do it. You just give them your money and go away. Sign something and go away. When we sign you up, the broker will send you a mail that confirms that you now have an account and that amount is sitting in that account. It will be translated to dollar. Yeah. So he taught me. It's so good. He taught me by university when he was doing tutorial then too. So don't look at him as a small man. He's a big, <laughs> he's a big guy. Small but mighty. All right. Okay, you guys are welcome. Um, we'll go straight to the point because uh, our time is against us. So um, I'll pick, I cannot call everybody's name here. So I'll pick 10 names. I don't know anybody here. So, okay, I'll call someone that will pick 10, right? Then um, I'll open those 10 from number 10 to one. The last person will go home with phone. Mm. Doctor, what is this? Doctor Room. Dr. Room. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> okay, the next name I have here is um, Ibidumi Precious. Thank you. Somuyiwa FD. Thank you for coming. I have what is this one? Okay, Akimbo Olua Shegun. Okay, thank you for coming, sir. <laughs> okay, um oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Israel. Thank you for coming, sir. Oh, Adoye, Adoye. Thank you, sir. Okay, I have the last last two standing. Oh. Last two. I should call anyone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Um Achanya Emmanuel. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, um Wow. Okay, the last, I don't know if it's a man or woman, the last person standing, Oluwa, Oluwa Toby, Emmanuel or Emanuela. Congrats, sir. Congrats. Congrats. Okay, we invite uh, Mr. Pip Sergeant to present the phone to... Mr. Emmanuel. Yeah, you deserve it, did you know? All right, the measure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's <laughs> always expecting this. Um, I just came for a training, and um, I've been following Pips of John on Instagram. Um, he has been very open. He has been very explanatory. I'm an auditor by profession, so I kind of can tell when someone is really, you know, straightforward. I've been really listening to him. And I listen to him with my wife, too, because um, she, too, she has a flair for this. But, you know, she just pushes me to, you go and do it. So um, it's really a pleasure to come here today. And really, like I said, I was not expecting this, so I'm really, really appreciative of it. Thank you, City Forex. Um, and I look forward to I look forward to learning and um, becoming as good as he is, probably better. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Plus, um, sorry, first 10 persons to test us, yes, we get $10 each. So we keep to our words. We keep to our words. Okay, if I call your phone number, you call my line. The same line that you send that test to. <laughs> right? Then you put your name and your account details. All right? 070-1100-3678. That's the first name I have here. 070-1100-3678. 070-63-933-843. 0 can you guys hear me very well? <laughs> okay. 80 No. Your uh, call. 80 081-600-22-3400-090-1987-2775-070-42-377-443. Okay, call my line. Two testimonials, like uh, just two. I just want to just quickly share that um, I've been overwhelmed by the training today. Actually, um, although I've not entered into the basic of training of the of trading, but then I've been able to understand um, what risk management is, and you know, and knowing asset class for me today was sufficient for me knowing the different type of asset class we have. And you know the experience, um, Mr. Pip is so, Pip Surgeon is someone that has a lot of experience. So and from there I've learnt a lot today. And even with the meal, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. You know I'm very, 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 very happy to be here. The reason being that I have not really been a forex trader, but I have been an investor. I have invested with lots of forex companies, MBA, Daniel Wales, BT, Maculate, lots of forex companies. There is even one coin, um, there is one currently offering 30 percent, GM Montella. You can search for it on Instagram. So they offer outrageous percent in a month. You know, at first I got convinced because they will tell you that oh, with your money. You will see 400 percent of your money in a month, so I'll be like, "Oh, to give out 30 percent is not a big deal." So I rushed to invest with them. At the end of the day, along the line, probably after a few months, they will pack up. They will start giving an excuse. Um, government came for us. Mm, EFCC came for us. Different, different excuses. Part of what we learned here today, when they were talking about the capital protection plan that they will protect 80% of your money and expose 20% to trading. I had one of these forest guys I invested with. He talked about this thing, but he lied. He talked about this capital stuff, but he lied. You know, when Pip Sojourn was explaining, he said, when they protect the 80%, once they have lost the 20%, you get an email that should they continue with the 80% or you want to withdraw your money. That is, you can still have access to that 80%. But what this particular investment company told me was that they reached an agreement with the broker that they will only trade with the 30%. So 
So having lost that percent, they can't access the remaining percent. That is, they can't access the remaining 80%. So that is the reason why they can't pay us. So different, different forest companies are always coming with different, different excuses for folding up. And I got to realize that the only reason why they have been folding up is because the percent, the outright they are offering is too much, according to what we've learned here today. So I believe that this, this forex company, this Pip Surgeon City Forest Company, can't fold up. They can't fold up. So investment with them is very safe and secure. From my experience so far, I can guarantee that if you should run an investment with them, they can't fold up because they are not promising more than what can be achieved in the forex market. So thank you. I'm just very happy to be here today regards that. I'm just happy to be here today. I've learned a lot. Firstly, my own knowledge is not about maybe just uh, what we have just learned today. But I'm here and I've learned that I can use my money to make money without giving myself stress. One, I, mean, I used to do this business of maybe people going to China, they will come, please, I need money for me to trade go and buy goods, and at the end of the month, or two, three months, I will give you so, so, so amount. And you find out that at the end of the day, your money, you will not even see the, you will not see your capital, not to talk of seeing the profit. And while I was sitting down there, I was just like, so if I had money, maybe some, a million, some a million plus, and at the end of the day, you continue chasing after them, and some you will not even see them and some have relocated because they cannot pay the money. So if I had had this knowledge maybe five, six, seven years ago, I wouldn't have been in this mess of letting my money go without seeing that money. But today, in fact, I'm so happy that I've learned a lot, even while I'm doing my business. I can invest in a long time that can fetch me more money than I, I can even imagine. So I'm so happy that... Um, I'm here today to learn from this uh, city forest trading. And I believe I will also join the platform in order to learn more because I want to invest. I want to make money like the person who has taught us. I want to make money so that by tomorrow I can also be an instructor to those who are upcoming. Thank you very much. Just me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this gathering. We bless your name because you brought us here safely and we are done and we are going home. We thank you because you have done it. And then we bless you because we shall get home safely in peace. And what we have learned, we find expression in our, to materialize in our lives. Father, Lord God, give to us in Jesus' name. And from the wealth of knowledge that you have blessed us today, Father, Lord God, replenish him in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Father, even your word says, study to show yourself approved. Father, even as we have studied, Lord, help us to back it up with action. In the mighty name of the Father, in the mighty name of the Son, and the mighty name of the Holy Spirit. 